which is the start of a brand new year in the Porsche City Index Carrera Cup here on the streets of Adelaide at the Clipsal 500. Former Series Rookie of the Year James Moffat from Team Norton DJR is in the co-driver's seat today with me. And this year, James, we're going to pit champion in Craig Baird versus former champion Alex Davison. This is Clash of the Titans. That's right. Alex coming off three years in the main game with Stone Brothers Racing, so he's going to be keen for race wins. Craig Baird, well, he's always proven in these cars, but they're not going to be the only two going for race wins. Stephen Richards is back for another year and Daniel Gaunt, both guys that were quick last year. Plus, there's a lot of fast rookies out there. Really looking forward to it. And the beauty of this championship is everyone has the same Porsche 911 GT3 Cup car to play with. Therefore, there's no excuses. So let's check in and see who's gone where in the off-season. Porsche Carrera Cup is the perfect category for the rising stars of motorsport to mix it with established drivers. While Craig Baird is considered one of the most successful Porsche One Make Series racers in the world, he's likely to meet his match this year against old foe Alex Davison, who is fresh from competing in V8 supercars. You know, he's a class act in a Porsche, um, always has been, so he'll be, uh, he'll be desperate to get race wins and try and notch up the championship because he's in a position where he really wants to go back to V8 supercars, so it's pretty important for him to do well. but. Um, you know, there's, there's at least five guys there that can win a race. I see no reason why we won't be right up the front with those guys and a little bit of unfinished business there, you know. Last, Beto and I have had a pretty strong rivalry. It's been good fun, but intense, you know. In 06, we really in 06 and 07, we really battled hard and he came out on top in 06, I came out on top in 07. Stephen Richards formed his own team last season and with a year's experience under his belt is determined to be in the mix for the title but knows it will be competitive. You've got the older guys that have been there and done it so to speak come back driving exactly the same cars that the young up and coming guys who are trying to make their path towards V8 supercars are having a race with you. So, you know, they're, they're, they're racing against guys that have established and credentialed and yet they're trying to create a path that we've already been to. So it, it's, it's a great championship for that reason. Richards also brokered a deal that sees the highest ranked driver under 30 at the end of the season receive a V8 supercar test. One of the drivers in the mix for that prize is Nick Foster. A star of the Australian Formula Ford Championship last year, he also made a one-off appearance at the final Carrera Cup round in Sydney and returns to make his mark on the series. Formal Ford, you know, we were with Mick, we were up the top there, you know, we were always duking out for wins and, you know, we were always the pace setter. Now we sort of come back, take a step back, you know, we're probably mid-ish pack with uh, all the pro guys, so now we've got to sort of build back up to, to being up the front and, uh, you know, I don't expect to do it, you know, the first two rounds, but, uh, you know, I expect to hit the ground running, especially with Homebush under my belt. 16-year-old rising star Andre Heimgartner will also be competing for the supercar test. The New Zealand Formula Ford champion has been busy soaking up all the tips he can before making his Porsche Carrera Cup debut at Clipsal. Craig Baird's been quite good to me, he's sort of mentored me around a little bit and that's been really helpful and if I can just get that throughout the championship and sort of uh, pick up little pointers that'll help, it'll be quite good. Any pointers on how to tackle that notorious turn eight? Yeah, no, nah, he, hasn't, he hasn't got to that yet, but <laughs> uh, I hope uh, he tells me before I put it in the wall, so, you know, we'll, we'll be right. <laughs> At the opening round of the year, the Tag Heuer Pole Awards go to James Condouris in the elite class and in the professional class, Alex Davison has the perfect start to the year. Stay with us after the break. It's the first race in 2012. is round one of the Porsche City Index Carrera Cup Australia. The first outing of the year was a timed 30 minute race right on twilight around the Adelaide street circuit. Now here's the issue, Alex Davison on pole is on the outside for the first chicane so Craig Baird just needs to make a decent jump and he'll take the lead. Exactly right, that's exactly what he did there. Stephen Richards into third, followed by Matt Kingsley. And Kingsley's the former GT3 Cup Challenge champion, he's filling in for Ray Angus this weekend but he's going with the big guns. We're on board with Alex Davison in the Simgen Porsche that Johnny Reid drove last year off to a great start. 
by lap three, drivers were getting impatient. Slight lock up for Craig Baird, under brakes into the hairpin. Foster having a look at Gaunt as well. Pulls back in line as we go on board with the Money Choice Porsche. And remember that these were the colours that Daniel Gaunt raced with last year. This year, Foster's driving for Team BRM. This is drama. Tony Bates, who's fresh from the Dunlop Series. Paul Kelly from New Zealand and Mark Sini down at Turn 9. Nice little flick turn there by uh, Tony. Plenty of radiator coolant fluid left as well. Exactly. Mark Sini's going nowhere now. No. This was the previous lap. Got close, didn't quite get it done. Oh, no. Uh, got it done, this, done time. this time. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, disappointing for Mark. And Paul, and Paul Kelly. Kelly. He had nowhere to go. Out in front, the top three drivers were easily the class of the field. Baird, Davison, Stephen Richards have really sprinted away from the field. And it's the three-time champ who leads the way. Remember, he signed for Alex's old car for the insurance races this year, the Irwin Ford. That's a little bit different. Exactly. And we've already said in the opener that Alex is going to be hungry for race wins. Coming off the back of three years in the main game, you know, he's going to be doing everything he can to beat Craig Baird and Stephen Richards. We talk so much about these cars being stiffly sprung on their suspension settings. They stay away generally from the curbs. Lots of bumps, but a lot of resurfacing through this part of the track that have made things just that little bit nicer. Lots of grip in this first sector of the track now with the resurfacing like you mentioned Aaron but don't these cars look fantastic in this twilight setting I was here about a decade ago for the race of a thousand years the Le Mans series race having a bit of a flashback the leaders stretching clear but Stephen Richards has got a drama he has dropped back from Baird and Davison he's not even in camera shot no so something must be going on with Richo because uh, he was right up there with these two so it'll be interesting to see if he pulls into pit yep. lane on Hear, cue. Hearing from the lane that there's a suspension issue with the laser plumbing and electrical Porsche. Richard's demise left Baird and Davison to duke it out for early season honours. How good is this? It is dark. The lights are on and Davison goes for the lunge at turn four. Baird's in deep. There's a little bit of a touch. Bit of a run. That is close racing. This I have to say, though, I think Craig might have been a bit cheeky there. You know, Alex was quite a bit up the inside there. But uh, let's have a look again. He gets a massive launch off the turn two element of the chicane. He's got the run. He pulls another gear. Fifth gear up the inside. Bang, bang, sequential box. Craig gives him some room. He gets to the point where he's got to turn in. There's a bit of a touch. Hard stuff. The clock is ticking at this rate. There's probably one more lap after this one to go. Lock up in the chicane. Baird is really vulnerable. And Davison launches it off turn two. He's but got he's got a, nowhere to go. He's got a mega run off the chicane. Now he's up the inside. He'll get this pass done this time. Cleanly without contact. But I wouldn't be surprised, Aaron, if there might be a bit of damage to that jet trouble insurance Porsche of Craig Baird. He is dropping back a little bit. And maybe he has sustained some damage from that earlier contact with David. Yeah, I'm not convinced about the pace of that number one car. He struggled off the chicane and now he can't keep up. Oh, that's why Ben's got a drama. The right rear tyre has gone flat at the worst time. He's still going to have to go. So he's going to have to do his very best to limp this car home and score as many points as he can. He's going to have to be very careful to stay out of the way. Alex Davison on his way to the final turn. He won his last race in Carrera Cup on the Gold Coast. That was back in 2007. He picks up where he left off and wins race one of 2012. And he could not, that couldn't have asked for a better way to start off his 2012 Carrera Cup campaign. Fastest lap of the race, 123.59. A pretty big gap back to this man, Nick Foster. Well done. Third in last year's Formula 4 Championship and second in race one for the Money Choice team. Daniel Gaunt will be third in the Wilson security car for Rusty French. Andre Heimgartner did a great job too, but Craig Baird, how unlucky, he's seventh. Well, I guess the main thing, Aaron, is he managed to finish and grab some points. Points are points, you take them how you get them. Let's go through the results from race one of the season. And James Conduras is the man who picks up the elite class victory. Sixth overall, Max Twig, Shane Smolin, and Tony Bates rounded out the top 10, but Kylie King is with our winner. Alex, nothing like a bit of racing on Debu here. Yeah, I mean, I couldn't ask for any more. You know, it was pretty intense between Craig and I, and I was quite a bit quicker on some parts of the track and would close right in. And then on, uh, you know, in the in the middle sector, he would really pull away from me. So it was difficult to get close enough to have a lunge. And um, when I finally did get just close enough, I had a bit of a lunge. I didn't quite get the car in there far enough, but I thought it was far enough that he, he would see me there and give me a car with. But he didn't, we had a bit of contact. 
Um, in the end, he got a bit of a puncture, but from what I understand, it wasn't due to the contact, so that makes my conscience feel, conscience feel a little bit better. So there's no stress with there. We can race all year, the rest of the year, without wanting to kill each other at this point anyway. Don't go anywhere. All the Race 2 highlights are coming up after the break. Watching the highlights of the Porsche City Index Carrera Cup from the streets of Adelaide. Former Formula Ford ace Nick Foster must have been pinching himself starting race two on the front row of the grid. 11 laps ahead, look for Steve Richards and Matt Kingsley from the back row of the grid. They DNF'd in race one, but how about Nick Foster? In just his second Carrera Cup round, he leads to turn one. He has got an absolute blister of snow straight over the chicane. Alex Davidson settles back into third. Craig Baird, he'll be looking to make as many positions on this opening lap as he can. Stunning start by the Money Choice Motorsport Porsche. He leads the way. Alex Davidson second. Daniel Gorn is up to third. Oh, no! Foster loses oh, the rear. No. And all on his own, Aaron. So oh, no! He'll be shattered with that. He'll have to wait for them all to go past. And he'll be able to turn that car around easily enough and get going. But a uh, disappointing way to, I guess, start after a brilliant start. Did everything right and then did this bit wrong. Down in the left-hander, yeah, just Cole lost Sires. The, yep, lost the rear on turn in. And Alex Davidson says, thank you very much. Easiest lead he's ever got through turn eight. First time through. It's the Aussie leading and it's the Kiwis chasing. Gort second, down the inside. Battle lunge on Heimgartner. He goes by the young gun, who's just 16 years and eight months. He's the youngest ever driver in Carrera Cup. He only just made that. Oh, trouble in the background here. Shane Smolin, Paul Kelly is involved. Paul Kelly's had bad luck at Turn 9 so far this weekend, but it's Alex Davison who leads the way. The 04 Series champion who had one test day at Queensland Raceway. He's still working on dollars for the rest of the championship, but he started perfectly here. And Craig Baird has made up four positions in the opening lap and is in third position, so he'll have the eyes on for sure. We both know Baird, though. He'll be really disappointed about the puncture in race one, but he'll have those... Headlights firmly locked on Daniel Gorn. Fifth spot there, the white Porsche. That's James Kondouris. He's the leader in the elite class. He won the class in race one. And he and brother Theo usually race one another, but they're going to share this car this year. They're pretty busy with their business commitments and the like. And that's Matt Kingsley putting a lunge on Tony Bates. Replay at turn nine. This is the drama. Uh, it's hard to say whether Smolin did that on his own. It looks like it's so. Just... Stephen Richards. <laughs> when it's not your weekend, it's not your weekend. Yeah, exactly. Davison was leaving the field in his wake and looked to have the race well under control. Bent closing in on countryman Daniel Gaunt, but it's Alex Davison who leads the way. This is turn eight. Hang on here. This is fast. Just clips the curb. Look out for that concrete. It will catch you out, no doubt. But look at the lead. He's built already. Oh, big lock big up, lock left up. front. He's cooked. Ooh. I'll tell you what, lucky he's got a bit of margin because uh, if he had a bit of pressure on, he would have lost position there. Baird up the inside of Gaunt, and now into P2. Gaunt struggled this weekend, James. He's just a bit puzzled with the pace or the lack thereof. This is Alex trying to stop it. At least he's got lots of road to play with. Well, he's certainly pushing on, that's for sure. So hopefully he hasn't flat spotted that left front tyre with that small mistake. Half a lap to go. Our leaders are at turn eight. Baird second, then Gaunt, then Heimgartner. So it's the Aussie beating the Kiwis. And this has been a great fight back for Craig Baird. This sets up a really, really good final race for us. But Alex, you know, he'll be delighted with this. Two race wins from two starts on his return back to the championship. Remember, he drove for the last three years full-time in V8 supercars in the Irwin Falcon. He, his contract was up at the end of last year. It wasn't renewed. Lee Holdsworth's taken the drive. And now Alex is looking to really dominate in Carrera Cup and remind the V8 world what he can do. Final turn in race two. Gort's closed in. That car's looked a little bit better in the latter stages of this race. But it's two from two for Alex Davison. Checkered flag awaits. 11 laps in the book and a new lap record to boot. Very impressive. And also Andre Hamgardner, young rookie, to finish fourth around the streets of Adelaide. There's nothing to be sneezed at. Tom Tweedy, fifth spot. There he is in the Elf Porsche for Team BRM. Matt Kingsley came from the back to work his way to six. Kondouris wins in elite class. Bates and Nick Foster round out the ten. But Craig Baird, he was the big mover in that race. Craig, it's always in the start, isn't it? They got off on you a bit there, but uh, you came through OK. Yeah, look, we had a bit of a bad run last night so um, with a puncher, so uh, started out a good seven. So second's not a bad result. It's not the result we're looking for, but um, 
you know, it was pretty clean and tidy. And uh, once I got past Dan, I sort of Alex was too far away, so I sort of just settled into a rhythm there. And then I saw him make a couple of mistakes up, and I sort of started to push again. When we come back, it's the third and final race from the streets of Adelaide. This is the opening round of the 2012 Porsche City Index Carrera Cup Australia. Race three was set to be an epic battle when the former champ and the reigning champ lined up side by side on the front row. Look at Alex Davison, he's got that car angled across to get to the inside, but again, even though he's on pole, he's on the wrong side for the chicane. That is the one disadvantage about being on pole here at Adelaide. If you get an even start off the front row, you're out of position for the turn one chicane. You'd think this was the Kiwi Carrera Cup. One leads, there's one in third, one in fourth. Matt Kingsley is next through. Remember that massive Ute shunt he, he had here about five years ago. He's done a great job to come back filling in this weekend. And Tom Tweedy's next in the queue, then Max Twig, then James Kanduras, really even first lap. And Max Twig and James Kanduras have been battling it out for elite class honours all weekend, and that battle looks set to continue in the final race. We saw a quick shot there of the 21 car, the Team Kiwi Porsche with the 16-year-old Andre Heimgartner at the wheel. Two time New Zealand Formula 4 champ. He's finishing year 12. He's still at school back in NZ. And he's not afraid of concrete. Neither is Tom Tweedy. Heimgartner was seriously close there to the turn 8 wall. Gaunt now up the inside in the Wilson Security. Sky Sands Porsche. And they've drastically changed the setup on this 27 car for this final race. It hadn't been the opening round Stephen Richards was after and he was gradually clawing back round. Nick Foster lunging on the Team Kiwi Porsche and Steve Richards in the gap. You don't leave the door open because Richard will ja charge on through. He's started from 15th. He's actually working his way through the order pretty well. He's up to 5th. He's doing a great job. He'll certainly have the eyes on. Now putting plenty of pressure on Nick Foster. He'll be setting him up to try and slide up the inside into the final corner. And this is actually four fifth place. He was sixth. Make it fifth in the background. That was Heimgartner peeling off to pit lane. But Richards gets the move on a young guy who he potentially set up a test drive for in a V8 later in the year. And that's because the top driver under 30 in this championship will get a drive of an FPR Falcon. Richards through. Lights ablaze. Here's the replay of Heimgartner through the chicane. And no doubt there's damage there. Oh, and he's done, he's done another job on it here, coming back to the race course. Right rear, tyre bundle. Ouch, that's why he's in the lane. And the Team Kiwi crew sit by and watch. They'll try to pull that guard away from the Michelin and send him back out there. Nick Foster was showing real potential in the Porsche and that he was not afraid to push the car's limits. Richards a little bit wide at turn 14 and that gives Foster just a little bit of a chance. He's had a good weekend. Second in race one, he recovered to 10th in race two after that spin. Look out! Oh! oh, launches it through the chicane. That will do damage. Now to me, Aaron, that actually looked like he had a problem going into the chicane. You don't miss turn one by that much so this is the outside view like there's any problems oh, but uh, yeah that'll certainly cause a few problems four clear off the ground bang crouch is back down and the money choice porsche no doubt is going to be a wounded race car richards also continued his charge oh have a look at Stephen richards up the inside of daniel gordon had it all locked up this is for fourth position, so they're both pushing as hard as they can. Remember, too, that Richard started last. He started from 15th. He sweeps around the outside. Imagine what would have happened if he'd started near the front. But it was Baird who took the race three honours with Davison hot on his heels. Davison won two from two, but Baird will stop the streak. The Kiwi, the reigning champ, off the final turn. He won the last round here in 2008. He'll win race three, but Davison picks up the weekend. A great fight back from Craig Baird from the dramas in race one to win the final race of the weekend. Stephen Richards now coming from the rear of the grid to finish fourth, top job. And Matt Kingsley crossed the line in third. That was a great job as well. Gordon fifth from Tom Tweedy. Max Twig wins the elite class in race three, but James Kanduris picks up the points for the weekend. Tony Bates round out the top 10. For the round in professional, Alex Davison on top. He wins his first round back. Baird and Gaunt round out the podium from Tom Tweedy and Andre Heimgartner, the young gun, finishes fifth. Alex, you cemented yourself in this championship, walking away with that number one position. My aim today, I was really, really keen to try and win today's race because Craig and I were head-to-head -head again. Um, 
But as I said, there's really I'm really happy with the way I drove in that particular race. There's nothing more I could have done. Race one and two, I, I wasn't particularly happy with how I drove. Um, it's the first round and learning about tyre pressures and the fine tuning of the setup a little bit still. And uh, you know we'll work at those things and improve as the year goes on. And the next time we see the Carrera Cup cars, we go to the west. Barbie Geller Raceway in Perth, May 4 to 6 for round three. Well, that's it for the opening round here from the streets of Adelaide. In the end, Alex Davison returns a winner. James Kanduras picks up the elite class. It's a big season in 2012.